crossing cultures. Did you know that there's an island in Bangkok? Well, not exactly in the city of Bangkok, but just 15 minutes north of Bangkok. It's an island called Kok Grit. And this island is full of history and is quite unique. So come with me and I'll show you around. Kok Grit Island dates back to 1722 during the reign of King Taisa of Ayutthaya. The canal was constructed as a shortcut to bypass a bend in the Omgrit branch of the Chao Phya River, just north of Bangkok. As the canal was widened several times, the section cut off eventually became a separate island. The island continues to serve as a refuge to the Mon, an ethnic group from Myanmar, who dominated central Thailand between the 6th and the 10th centuries. When Ayutthaya was restored by King Taksin the Great, the Mons were relocated here. Since then, they have retained a distinct identity of Buddhism and expertise in pottery. A breezy boat tour around the island will take you back in time. The famous blood-red Mons-style pottery called Hai is made here. The islander's produce is regarded as the most beautiful of all unglazed pottery available and is of course handmade. The island is also famed for its Thai desserts or kanom, usually made from eggs, flour, coconut and sugar. Another short boat ride and you reach a batik shop. You can buy hand-painted batik sarongs or paintings here. There are many temples here, but the most popular one is Wat Paramaika Wat, located at the northeastern tip of the island, because it houses the most notable icon of the island, the Leaning Stupa. It is a Mon-style pagoda that is a replica of Prata J.D. Mu Tau in Hong Saudi that is highly revered by all Mons and house the holy relics of Lord Buddha. On special days in Buddhist calendar, ceremonies and rituals are performed here, usually by a monk leading a walk and chanting around the Chedi. Kok Grid maintains its traditional way of life and tourism is limited. It can be very crowded on weekends, but on weekdays it's calm and peaceful. Most people just come for a day tour, go bicycling, eat and visit the handicraft shops and temples. You can get to the island by boat from the pier in Pakrit. The fees vary from 20 to 200 baht, depending on if you travel on a public ferry or an express boat. There are very few accommodations on this island, but there is one unique place that offers true retreat and relaxation with culture programs, and that is Bantwara Pratip. In our next episode, we'll show you some of the cultural programs here.